Hey everybody, I am Jesse Dollimore and this is The Conversation, brought to you by my podcast on iTunes and Google Play Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. Go subscribe to I Doubt It With Dollimore. Before I even get into this, I want to let YouTube and the suits over at Viacom, who represent Comedy Central and The Daily Show, know that I'm well within my legal rights to play, discuss, and provide commentary on these excerpts due to the United States Copyright Office's fair use policy. So, let's save ourselves a lot of trouble right now by you leaving me and my channel in this video alone. Also, as an aside to the rest of you, if you enjoy what I do here, like, share, and subscribe below. And look, I would much rather you just share directly from YouTube here, but if you're gonna jack parts of this and post it on Facebook or Twitter or wherever, at least link to me here on YouTube, or at the very least, mention me on Twitter. Consider me in advance very thankful. <laughs> All right, well, the absolutely not racist alt-right princess, Tommy Lahren, was just on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, and he did his best to take her to task. Between his nervous, hasty jokes and not truly making her answer any questions, I think he did about as good a job as expected. Let's just jump into this and see how it goes. You consider yourself a conservative? I do. Okay. I mean, I'm a millennial, so I don't really like labels, but yes, I'm conservative in thought. <laughs> Sorry, my brain, you just gave a label to say you don't like labels. But anyway, um... We exist on a spectrum, No, no, no. I mean, I, you're not, no, would no, you consider no. yourself I, a I liberal? You. That, was just, a... that was just funny. That was just funny. It was just a funny moment. I'm a millennial. Um, it surprised you. It's just, it's just funny. <laughs> well, Tommy, that was quite the inauspicious start. I think we now all have the confirmation of what everybody was already thinking, that without a script, you're really not that quick on your feet. <laughs> I'm a millennial. I don't like labels. Goddamn. You should really be thanking Trevor Noah. He did a pretty decent job of keeping you on track and moving things along so you weren't consistently, inexorably embarrassed. Um, in terms of Black Lives Matter, like, you know, you have quite a record. For somebody who is not racist, you have to spend a lot of time saying, I'm not racist. What is your biggest issue with Black Lives Matter? I think, and I've said this many times, it started with good intentions. I think it was, it was well-intentioned. The moment that they started pushing hands up, don't shoot, which is a false narrative, proven time and time again to be a false narrative, the minute that that became their slogan, the minute that protesting turned into rioting and looting and burning and militant actions, that's when I lost respect for Black Lives Matter. Okay, but now here's my thing. Let's address each of these things one by one. When you go protesting, turning into rioting and looting, that's not a Black Lives Matter phenomenon. That is what happens when there is a protest a lot of the time. First of all, don't act like you were some kind of champion of the Black Lives Matter movement up until they chose the slogan that you didn't like. Do you not remember that it's 2016? We have exhaustive video evidence to reference you being a hateful maniac, not just about Black Lives Matter, but about black people in general. Ugh. Would you have us really believe that if not for the slogan adopted by many in the movement, you'd be an ally? Please. All I'm hearing when you say that is that you're willing to ignore the continued systemic oppression of blacks in this country because those standing against it are using the wrong catchy slogan. Who's the delicate little snowflake now, Tommy? It seems like you. For you to say that, you say they have good intentions, they had the good intentions. How are you labeling out the actions of a few and condemning an entire group? Because I don't understand that. Because they subscribe to the Black Lives Matter movement. They say, we are the Black Lives Matter movement, fry them like bacon, F the police. They're these saying are a few those people. things. These are a few people. This is not the Black these Lives are, Matter are, pro, that, that is not the platform though. I saw it in my, my city of Dallas. I saw what a Black Lives Matter protest looked like. And I saw five fallen officers because of it. So that's, I've not, seen, that's, not, that's not fair and that's true. No, that's, no, 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 it is fair, that's, Trevor, that's, because that's the shooter not, said, point blank shooter said he's doing this because of Black Lives Matter. Yes, and there are many things you can say. I mean, if you go outside, you can say anything about doing something because of you cannot deny that the man had mental issues as well and he was in a tough place. Just because you say the thing doesn't mean it's what it stands for, right? 
I think Trevor may have fallen asleep on the job a little bit there. That's okay, though. I guess that's why I'm here. (laughs) So, Tommy, because the coward who murdered those good cops in Dallas said he was upset about Black Lives Matter, the entire movement is suspect. Is that right? Well, that must mean that because Christian Robert Deere went on a shooting rampage at a Planned Parenthood clinic in Colorado Springs, the entire movement of Christianity is not to be trusted and must be filled with violent, murderous, anti-abortion terrorists. Seriously, Tommy, go find a local community college and take an intro to critical thinking class. It would do you wonders. One, Trevor, it's not one or two people. If you look at it, if you look at it in every city, look at the protests that have gone on in Baltimore, in Ferguson, in New York City, the protests that have now turned to anti-Trump protests. These are not a few people. This is mass crowds of people. They're doing this in the name of Michael Brown. They're doing this in the name of Freddie Gray. They're doing it as the front of Black Lives Matter, and the mainstream media is emboldening these people. They're doing what in the name of Michael Brown? They're doing what? in the name of Freddie Gray, Tommy. You're trying to slyly pivot to make a direct comparison between the Dallas shooter and Black Lives Matter activists and election protesters. Yuck. Talk about a false narrative. Are you sickeningly transparent or weak-minded? Also, why did you randomly bring up the mainstream media into this? Are you being paid according to how many alt-right buzzwords you can jam into a single appearance? Weak. What do you wish people would understand about you that are in another bubble? What do you wish people would understand about you on the other side? I wish that we could disagree with each other without thinking that we are bad people or ill-intentioned folks. So because I criticize a black person or I criticize the Black Lives Matter movement, that doesn't mean that I am anti-black. It does not mean that I don't like black people or that I'm a racist. It means I'm criticizing a movement. I criticize Colin Kaepernick. That doesn't mean that I don't believe in his First Amendment rights. It means that I believe in my First Amendment rights to criticize him. So it doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't make me a racist to point out. I mean, I've never used racial slurs to address people. I've never looked down on someone because of their skin color. To me, true diversity is diversity of thought, not diversity of color. I don't see color. I go after Hillary Clinton and she's white as they come. You don't, you don't see color. So what do you do at a traffic light? Um, I don't believe in that at all when people say that. There's nothing wrong with seeing color. It's how you treat color that's more important. Well, number one, Not using a racial slur doesn't give you some kind of not racist street cred, Tommy. It it makes you a normal, decent person. People can judge whether your views on race are problematic by listening to you talk with anger and hate about people who don't look and think and experience the world through your eyes. And number two, beyond what Trevor said concerning your jackassery about not seeing color, let me help you out since I can see color. This is a black man. His name was Eric Garner. And this is a white man. Please, Tommy, pay particular attention to the life-ending chokehold that the white man has the black man in. And here, here's another example in case you aren't catching on. This is another black man. His name was Walter Scott. And this white man right here, again, please pay particular attention to the bullet being fired from the white man's gun into the back of the now dead black man. You can't see color? Give me a damn break. Do you really believe you're criticizing and you're not malintentioned when you say things like Black Lives Matter is the new KKK? Because you realize Black Lives Matter can't be the new KKK, the KKK is still around. They have not vacated their premises. And most importantly, to say Black Lives Matter is the new KKK is to like to really, really minimize what the KKK did and what they stand for. That is not the same thing. You surely you understand the incendiary like Let's... feeling of your comments. You know that surely. It's controversial, but I think there are some things that need to be said. When the Black Lives Matter movement is going out with signs saying fry them like bacon, F the police, when they're going out seeing if you see a white person target them, that is happening, Trevor. That happened in Milwaukee not too long ago. That is happening. So when that That now becomes the narrative and you're starting to loot, burn, and riot, what did the KKK do? That is not, look, we'll go around in circles. Did you say what did the KKK do? No, what did they do? When you're saying, listen, listen, Trevor. Wow. Trevor. Well, 
You see, that was Trevor Noah at his very best. Tommy, look, you always want to defend the police. And any time one does something terrible, you say most cops are great. That one, that ah, was just a bad apple. Well, you can't have it both ways. How can you demonize a movement like Black Lives Matter because of a few stupid protest signs? But not bad an eye at police departments across the country when we know unarmed black men are shot and killed by police seven times more frequently than whites. If that is really what you're doing, it makes you a special kind of high octane hypocrite. Now let's wrap up this little lesson in not knowing how to be woefully ridiculous by explaining the differences between Black Lives Matter and the KKK. Yikes. You see what you make me do, Tommy? How is that even a sentence that needs to be uttered? Black Lives Matter is fighting for the equality of an historically marginalized and brutalized population. And the KKK has spent over 150 years ensuring that very marginalized population was terrorized, brutalized, and murdered. For you to compare Black Lives Matter and the terrorists of the KKK is disgusting, irresponsible, and stupid. Once again, alt-right princess, you're in danger of making an idiot of yourself.